techniques. Uh, real quick, I'm going to review what we worked on last week for you guys. And one big reason is that I went back and watched what we taped. You couldn't see what I was doing because my back was to the camera. So, who wants to be my Uki? Technique, alright. So, we go over here a little close to it. So, he comes up for the choke. I'm doing both hands. Oh, yeah, actually, this is, yeah. Or is it you know, it's, 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 it's like a collar grab. Right? right, it's grabbing the collar. The reason, the reason why I was thinking to choke, the original self-defense technique in the, in the way that this is caught is that I come here first. First, I, I'm like, boom, and then go, go across. And, and that will work. But I, I like the single grab better because in, in real life, you're more likely going to have somebody doing this to you as opposed to this to you. Unless you're being attacked by Frankenstein or the monkey. <laughs> in that case, you probably will experience this. So he comes to the grab, I want to step over to the side, remember I bring my foot or my, my hand here, and I'm like, we're going to do it this way and I'm going to flip around the other direction. So he, yeah, he grabs here, over, I'm going to make sure that I've got his elbow tied up against my shoulder, I want to have his wrist against my shoulder as well with his hand pointed that way, and all I'm going to do is bow. That whenever you need to. <laughs> if he starts to get away from me, that's fine. I'll pull it out, I'll just grab his fingers here, and I'll turn. If I need more force, I'll bring it down to my hip, and I turn. If I decide I want to break his wrist altogether, I turn. So we'll go the opposite direction. So grab me with the same hand. So I come over, and I grab as I step. Right here. So, like I said, I like, I like this hook. It just it feels natural for me to come through and pull it in this direction. Some guys like this. I could even come through and, and bring it in like this. But if I'm here, I've got an open hand to come and grab if I need to. You know, if you... These IT Jitsu techniques in, in real life can be difficult to get. In fact, I mean, this is one of the harder ones to achieve. But from here, if... You, you start to get away, you know, I can easily pull your head down, push you, kick you. All right, I just, I like having that open hand facing the opponent as opposed to being turned in. Or, you know, the techniques also show them like this from the outside. I just don't feel like I have nearly as much control if I'm reaching over the top as I am from underneath. Mm -hmm. And this does give me a little extra strength I pull it here. The main objective is to get this elbow up against my shoulder. As you guys experienced last week, if that elbow is not against the shoulder, I don't have the right leverage to do the simple bow. I've got to transition to something else. So the key piece is having that elbow there against the shoulder. Having his, his knuckles need to face the sky. I can't have you here. Oh, and something else that I missed telling you guys last week. As you bring them across, you may not be able to keep this lock that I showed you. His arm, his hand may rotate to your hand. That's fine. That's okay. I think, uh, uh, Tim, I guess what Steven I may have been working with, you know, big mitts. You know, it's like you're grabbing a baseball glove whenever you grab his hand. So, you know, I, I'm not able to keep that locked, but at least the textbook lock, that's okay. If I have to resort to holding his hand like this or like this, that's fine as long as I have his knuckles straight up in the air and it's firm against my chest. So I've got to be here and then once I'm here I just bow. And if, if I really want to tear it up, I mean this is submission and this is I'm done playing with you. Like I say we have the transition from there. If I have him here and he starts to pull away I simply have this. Now this works a little better if I can open his fingers up and I can just torque his fingers just a little bit. Or I can take it down to my hip, then I really have a ton of leverage. And from there, I mean, you feel it, just me. I mean, this is a real dangerous lock for your, for your guy you're training with. I can step through. Now I wanted to show you guys another option. That, that's what we covered last week. Another option for this grab. So he comes to grab. This one's a little more simple and the fact that I do the same thing, but what I'm not doing is coming underneath. I'm not going to come, come underneath his hand. 
I'm just I'm actually going to take this hand and put them both here for a moment. And you really don't even have to do that in most cases. I'm still going to take my 45 degree step, okay? But I'm just going to push his arm down with one hand, and I'm just going to kick him in the face from there. I mean, I have a lot of a lot of uh, options of what I can do. Textbook wise, from here, he has me. I'm just make that slight turn, pull his wrist down. I'm going to come in with that same lock, 